as well as their panel. And once they have their bearings and they've looked at those plans, the first thing, step one, is for them to, to put those fixtures up. So they need to uh, put that uh, light fixture up, run the switch for it, and run, uh, run an outlet as well. And as you guys can tell in this scenario, this is a commercial application, so they've fastened uh, these boxes uh, using self-tapping screws. So once all their fixtures are up, uh, depending on the size of the job, it could be just a few or it could be hundreds. Um, once those fixtures and their, their boxes are up, they're also going to hang the panel. So this panel, uh, in this case, is actually hung uh, on some block, uh, some cinder block with Tapcons. So now that they have uh, their panel and all their, uh, their boxes up, now they're going to run their conduit. So we have some MC cable, which is fastened using self-tapping screws, uh, and some EMT. And this EMT is hung on some unistrut that's also uh, fastened with uh, Tapcons. We also have some EMT couplings. So just in a very short period of time, this electrician uh, has experienced three or four different fastener types, from self-tapping screws, Tapcons, uh, all the way uh, down to very delicate EMT couplings. Now, uh, to complete these applications, there's a couple different schools of thought. Uh, number one is, I'm an electrician, and I want to carry uh, quite a few different tools because I want to pick the right one for, for, for the job. So, uh, for my self-tapping screws, I'm probably going to use an impact driver. It's a high-speed tool, and it takes high speed to make sure those uh, fasteners bite into the material and, and drive all the way through. For that Tapcon, uh, an impact uh, isn't always the best bet because it could break, break that Tapcon because that Tapcon is very delicate. And then lastly, um, with, uh, with their EMT couplings, which are very, very delicate, because you're really just trying to snug those up, a lot of guys are using uh, manual screwdrivers. So with those three different applications, they may be carrying three different tools, ranging from an 18-volt impact driver down to a manual screwdriver. The other school of thought is, look, I love impact drivers. I want to use them for everything because they're high speed, they're lightweight, they get into tight spaces, and I don't want to be switching between tools all the time. But with an impact driver, you run into uh, a problem where you might overdrive or over tighten uh, a fastener. Take that EMT coupling, for example, and I might pinch that EMT, damage the EMT, damage the fastener. I've got to either pull that out and replace it, um, or you know maybe I just don't have a very secure connection there. And if I have to go go and replace that fastener, uh, it's, it's going to uh, decrease my productivity. That's where one key comes in. So. One key, as Christian mentioned, allows the end user to customize the tool for their applications. So what we're going to do now is go through a couple of applications uh, on, this, uh, on this station here. And we'll set this tool up prior to heading over there. And, uh, and then we'll head over and we'll do a couple applications. So we're going to connect to the impact driver because that's the tool we're going to use today. So we'll connect to it. We'll pair up. And Christian walked you guys through the tool controls portion. Now what I want to do is just kind of reset this tool because Christian uh, walked you guys through a couple things. So I'm going to reset this tool back to the factory reset, which you can do via, either via the app or you can actually do it on tool as well. So if I hold this cycle button down and I don't have access to my phone, I can actually reset the tool without, without having uh, the phone or the device there. Now as Christian mentioned, as you guys have already seen, this is a cloud-based uh, system. So I've already set a couple of profiles up for this tool. Uh, and those are in the cloud. So I could have set them up six months ago. Or I could, uh, I could still access those uh, tomorrow or next year um, unless I delete them. So there's a ton of uh, benefit to the user there because they're using very common materials from job to job. So what we're going to do is we're going to set this up for an EMT coupling. So we'll go into our, we need to put the tool into wireless mode. We'll go into our EMT coupling. And as I mentioned, I've already set this up for this coupling. So I realized about 1,450 RPM, and torque level one is the right setting for this, for this application. So we're going to hit save. And we're going to save that in slot number one on the tool. We'll go back to our, our profiles, and we'll go into our self-tapping screw, because I know that I want to use a number eight, three-quarter inch pan head screw, and those studs right there are 26 gauge. So I'm going to set this tool up for those set, that set of materials. So let's save that into setting two. So we've got two, two applications saved. And I also want to point out that uh, setting three right now is uh, max RPM for this tool, which is 2,900 RPM. And it's going to deliver all out torque. And we're going to, we're going to um, just do that application uh, all out uh, so that you guys can see what happens if you 
use an impact driver and you're not super careful, you could damage your materials. So let's head on over uh, to, that, to that demo station. We're going to disconnect from this tool because uh, as Christian mentioned, the great thing is you can set it up at the beginning of your day or on your lunch break, put your phone away and you can forget about it. So the first application we're going to do is our EMT coupling. And we're actually going to do this in setting number three. If you remember what we just went through a couple minutes ago, setting number three is all out speed. And I'm basically going to show you guys what happens uh, when you overdrive uh, uh, coupling. So let's grab our conduit. So I slipped off the material, but I also way over tightened it. So if I were to pull this piece of conduit out. You can actually see it's dimpled here. Um, so I really overdrove that. Again, a lot of guys will use manual screwdrivers, but some users are still using impacts and they're damaging that material and pinching that EMT. So what I'm going to do is actually just turn this around and we're going to go back into our setting number one because that's where we had our no hub coupling. And it's lower speed and it's actually going to shut down on its own because I picked a low torque level. So once the tool senses it's reached that torque level, it's going to shut itself down. So we'll drop this back in. And we're just going to drive this. And I'm going to hold the trigger and you'll notice the tool shut itself down. So it actually shut itself down. I still have my finger on the trigger. And we've got a nice tight connection. And we didn't overdrive and dimple that, that EMT. Right? So the next application that we set up was the, uh, the self-tapping screw. So again, I set it up for the materials I'm working with, which in this case was a number eight, three-quarter inch pan head screw. We set that up in mode number two. And you'll notice the tool is probably spinning about, I don't know, 2,500 RPM, because that's where we had it set up. So we'll drive this fastener and uh, and it will be nice and tight and we won't overdrive it. So the tool actually slowed down once it, it sensed that it went through the material. Now let's drive one in, all, in, in mode three, which was high speed, high torque. And I'll show you guys uh, that it's gonna, be, it's gonna overdrive this fastener. So obviously um, I didn't have the control that I had in the last application because it's all out speed. It's about uh, five or 600 more RPM. So I didn't have that control uh, from the previous fastener. So you guys are actually now going to have the opportunity to get hands-on uh, with these products. So there's a couple different demo stations here. We've got uh, one focused on plumbing, one focused on electrical, one focused on HVAC, and the last one focused on the remodeler. We also have a drilling station, as, as Christian mentioned, uh, so you guys can get hands-on with that electronic kickback control functionality. Feel free to get hands-on with these, ask questions. Uh, this is your time to kind of get comfortable with these tools and, uh, and make sure you guys are playing with them, adjusting the different parameters on them and getting comfortable.